President Trump today announcing the United States will begin to cut or reduce aid to Honduras, Guatemala, and El Salvador after those three governments fail to stop the caravan of middle uh, Central American migrants marching toward our border with Mexico in, tw in 2017. The United States government gave Guatemala almost $230 million in aid. Honduras received $144 million. El Salvador given $91 million. Joining us tonight to discuss the national security crisis that is posed by that caravan if it reaches the U.S. border, the involvement of cartels, narco-terrorists, and the MS-13 threat. Judicial Watch's president, Tom Fitton. Tom, good to have you with us. The Hello. president says that this could very well be a national emergency. He is, as he puts it, disappointed and displeased with the governments, uh, the three uh, governments that I just mentioned, plus Mexico. Uh, your judgment about that caravan and the threat it poses? Well, it is a national security threat. We should be concerned about the behavior of the countries. Mexico is essentially inviting this crowd in. As you reported earlier, they're not stopping them. Right. Guatemala is ill-equipped to deal with the pressure they're facing from the leftists in Honduras. So uh, our people are in Guatemala. Chris, Chris Farrell, as you know, is down in Guatemala right. right now with one of our colleagues. He's reporting they're trying, but they need help. Uh, they've had, they turned away 1,500, uh, essentially, men at the border, the southern border with Honduras already. Of the caravan that came north, the Guatemalans were able to pull out 107 special interest aliens, people who weren't from Honduras or Guatemala or, uh, uh, or, or Salvador. They were from places like Bangladesh, down in the southern part of the border. Uh, they were from Cuba. So th these are not your, uh, this is not Central Americans per se. And of course, the president of Guatemala. Well, the fear is, to be clear, the fear is that some of them are uh, radical Islamist terrorists uh, that have intermingled with this group of Central Americans. The further fear is that many of the, uh, uh, you know, so many of these, uh, the, these migrants uh, from Central America, uh, frankly, are, uh, are, have, are radical left wingers. Uh, right. Their leaders are left-wing uh, party members, for crying out loud, out of Honduras. Uh, this is a, a and no one uh, other than the president at this point. We, you know, I keep expecting to hear Chuck Schumer, Nancy Pelosi express their concern for America, but with a caravan that seems to be doubling every uh, few days in size, uh, they have said nothing. Well, I agree, and so this is why the president needs to act to protect the country. He should deploy troops to uh, Guatemala to support the effort there, at least logistical troops, so the Guatemalans can uh, deploy their folks to the southern border and turn away the caravans that are forming on the south. Well, it's very disappointing, I'm sure, to the president that Guatemala did nothing uh, to stop uh, this caravan. Uh, Honduras did nothing. Uh, this is in El Salvador. Uh, this is this is horrible behavior, and you've got uh, people like uh, Pelosi walking around chirping uh, uh, about uh, you know there's just not a problem here. Uh, if this this group of people shows up on our border, they are automatically, uh, if they are further coached in the rules, will have to be given uh, asylum for crying out loud. Because as the president says, our immigration laws, our refugee laws, are just plain stupid. Well, and that's why he has to uh, deploy the military to the southern border and prevent these people from entering. Because once they enter, uh, they are free and clear, practically speaking. There isn't the capacity to keep them even detained. So they will be free to enter uh, the United States, and uh, they'll never be heard of from again, at least by law enforcement. Uh, and this is, this is a serious crisis in the sense that President Morales of Guatemala, he said just a few weeks ago, look, I, we arrested 100 uh uh, foreign right. nationals tied to ISIS. Turns out many of them were uh, tied to Syria. They were detained and removed. Who knows what else is going on in Guatemala as a result? And well, as I say, the president, the, the, the conservative government in Guatemala is under assault, under assault from the Soros oper operations, the United Nations, and the deep staters at the State mm -hmm. Department. And this is what has been wrought. We've got a government unable to control its borders, right. and frankly, the president should well, we offer have, assistance and, and go into Guatemala right now yeah. and stop Tom, them before you, you they get into Mexico. You make me nervous talking about sending our troops into Guatemala. To uh, defend we, I mean, our we interests. Could, we could dis I understand, uh, but the fact of the matter is the crisis that is at hand is the one that is shaping up 
uh, directed toward our border, and it's not an accident. Uh, and it's not an accident. It is straightforward history, and it's not speculation. Uh, it is history. That well, intermingled, it is with this, intermingled with this group of people that is obviously operating with, uh, with support, significant support and direction uh, from what groups we do not know for sure at this point. Well, but I we do know that. intermingle will be uh, a, a lot of very bad characters, including MS-13, other uh, narco uh, terrorists uh, running through that, that crowd of people. And by the way, I, I suppose everybody has noticed these are mostly uh, adult males in this caravan to this point, and I mean overwhelmingly so. Well, your video is showing that. Uh, Chris tells me that's what's happening in the southern border. And uh, the, uh, the concern is that uh, they're going to be overwhelmed again at the Honduran border. The caravans are building up again, and this is just the first wave. And frankly, there are hundreds, if not thousands, already hitting the border, uh, but the media isn't covering it. And I, I don't, you know, the president, well, we know I think, from is the Homeland Security that, there, that a, a caravan, uh, at the time that the, the estimate was 5,000 uh, people in that caravan, uh, the equivalent of a caravan is arriving every day on our borders. We've, uh, That's right. Illegal immigration has risen by at least a third. And by the way, those are numbers that are uh, somewhat uh, formulaic and often underestimate uh, what actually is occurring at our border in terms of the crossings, illegal crossings. Tom Fenton, I, I very quickly, I, I want to uh, just say thank you, and I'm glad you're down there, uh, Chris Farrell and your folks, to... Uh, uh, to give us uh, first-hand knowledge of what's going on and to be working with those governments. Uh, Tom Fenton, thanks for being with us. Hey, you're welcome, Lou. Thank you.